Let's go home. These three simple words became improbable words for the families of those who lost their homes and everything in Katrina. A storm surge so powerful that it flipped cars on top of rooftops as if they were a child's toy. Let's go home. How can you when there's nothing left but a shell of the place that once housed your lives? We got down here six months after the storm, and, and we, we were grossly unprepared for what we saw. I remember talking to this elderly resident one day, and he told me about, um, he was just so devastated by what had happened to him. He broke down sobbing, talking with Liz. He just said, you know, for the first time in my life, I need help, and no one will listen to me. For me, that was the turning point. This is a solvable problem. Great. Anderson Cooper says that if New Orleans stands a chance at rebuilding, it will be because of the million-plus volunteers who've just really stepped up to help. Here are three extraordinary examples of the audacity of hope. Hey, how are you? Good. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> This is the living room. This is going to be the kitchen. A year and a half ago, Liz McCartney and Zach Rosenberg left their comfortable lives in Washington, D.C., and headed for New Orleans to help. Today, the former school teacher and lawyer are still there, rebuilding homes in St. Bernard Parish. But what was it that made you say, you know what, I'm, I'm going to give up my old life in Washington and, and stay here? Uh, people. People of St. Bernard are really good people. Liz and Zach formed the St. Bernard Project, they found a way to rebuild homes for just $10,000. That's about $40,000 less than what FEMA says it pays for a mobile home. So far, 69 families have moved into their houses. Wow, so this is your room? This is my wow. Yeah. And you've picked the color? Yes, I picked the color. It's great. Overall, how fast can you do a house and how much does it cost? It takes about 8 to 12 weeks, depending on how many volunteers we have. Joe Urbeso, a disabled single father of two, will move into his house in just a few weeks. Zach and Liz, you know, they're great. they like angels or something. Liz McCartney joins me now along with Les Scharfenstein, who lives here in St. Bernard Parish. Les, this is your house behind you that they've helped rebuild. Yes. You were still waiting on federal money from that so-called long road, or that road home That's program. That's correct. We've been when do you, th when do you think you're going to be able to move in? Hopefully within the next two or three weeks. What do you think of, of what she's doing? We think they're terrific. This whole crew from St. Bernard Project has just been unbelievably helpful that just we could not have been here without them what what made you come here i mean you're you're this is you're not getting paid for this uh, i came down here about a year and a half ago and i met people like mr sharpenstein people who worked their whole lives who owned their homes you know he worked in education for almost 30 years good people who are just in a really tough spot and it's just the right thing to do our model of rebuilding homes allows us to get families back in eight to twelve weeks for about ten to twelve thousand dollars which is simply a lot less expensive than it is to build a house from the ground up it's not rocket science it takes three key components volunteers funds for building materials and skilled supervisors nearly three years after the storm there is an incredible amount of work to do forty percent of the population is back but many of those folks are living in FEMA trailers. At any given time, we have about 100 people on our waiting list. And I'd say in the average week, we have anywhere from 15 to 25 people who come in the door looking for help. With enough volunteers, we could rebuild all of St. Bernard Parish. This is a solvable problem. Great. When we decided to move back to St. Bernard Parish after Katrina hit, a lot of people was trying to discourage us. But this is our home, and we would have never been able to have that chance had not St. Bernard Project came in and helped us fix our house. It's just wonderful, and I couldn't have done it without Zach and Liz. CNN Hero of the Year is Liz McCartney, the St. Bernard.